delicious sushi roll filled with salmon and avocado and then rolled in tobiko. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Here we go, let's do it. All right, so we start by preparing some things. First thing is this avocado. I'm just gonna cut it in half and then I'm gonna take the skin off just like this. Then I'm gonna cut from the outside inwards in a circumference going all the way around just like this to get nice and even slices of avocado. Then I'm gonna take some sashimi grade salmon and slice it in strips just like so. If you wanna know more about sashimi grade salmon, there'll be a link in the description of the video. I'll put that to one side till you need it. All right, so now I'm gonna take a bamboo rolling mat or a plastic one in this case and add half a sheet of nori. Now you see there's a shiny and a rough side. I'm gonna put the rough side up. Then I'm gonna take 100 grams of cooked and seasoned sushi rice and I'm just gonna spread that out nice and evenly and softly. Now if you wanna know how to make sushi rice then there'll be a link in the description. All right, just flip that round and you take a little bit of wasabi, put it on your finger and spread it along the middle just like this. This will season the sushi roll. Now I'm gonna take the strips of salmon and lay them across the center, and then followed by the slices of avocado, just right next to it, just like this. Okay, now to roll the sushi roll, you wanna start by lifting up the end of the mat and rolling it over and closing the sushi roll. And then as you see, when I lift it, I can see a little bit of nori, that's because it was closed. And then you roll it forwards to seal, and then roll it a couple more times forwards, just to firm it up in different directions. Now move the sushi roll to one side and tuck in the edges. Okay, this helps to make the end pieces of the sushi roll a bit more usable. Okay, so just tuck the other side in, just like this with your fingers. And then you just remove your sushi roll and place it on board and firm it up one last time just to get it just the perfect shape. Okay, now to cover it in delicious tobiko, which is flying fish roe. Now, I like to add it with a spoon just like this and spread it across the surface. Some people like to have a big plate and then roll the roll into it, but I find that applying it with a spoon like this gets a nice decadent layer of tobiko around. Okay, so I'm just gonna simply apply it on and then turn the sushi roll over and then apply a little bit more and keep doing that until the entire roll is fully covered with tobiko. If you wanna know more about tobiko, there'll be a link in the description of this video. Okay, so once you've done that, and all the sides are nicely covered just like this, then it's time for cutting. You take your extremely sharp knife and cut it in the middle, just like this. Then clean your knife on a wet rag. This will help remove the rice and make your knife slide through the roll. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the halves into quarters, just like this. There we go. And in between each cut, you wanna really clean your knife so that it slides through. And then you take the quarters and you cut them all into eighths, so four cuts. And keep cleaning in between cuts so that your knife slides through. It's important to have an extremely sharp knife to cut sushi rolls, otherwise they break apart and, and fall apart. So it's important to get a good quality knife or to learn how to sharpen your knives extremely sharp with a whetstone. Uh, for both those, check in the links in the description to find out my video how to sharpen knives. Okay, so once you finish cutting it, then you just take the bamboo rolling mat, or plastic one again in this case, and then just firm it up, just to make sure that it's as great as before you start cutting. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a plate, a beautiful black plate with an orange dish. Compliments the orange topical. Okay, just gonna remove the end pieces for my own consumption, and then I'm just gonna spread out the sushi rolls into three pieces like this so I can pick them up. Now if you want the same plate as I just showed, then check out the link in the top left corner of your screen or in the description of this video. Okay, so I'm just gonna place them on just like this in a neat row. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of pickled ginger and just a dash of wasabi or just a big lump of wasabi. <laughs> And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of soya sauce just to finish off the dish. Okay, so there we go, done. All right, so this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed watching how to make the Yo Sushi Roll and I hope you make it at home and share it with your friends and family and just um, enjoy the sushi roll. Okay, so if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the top left corner of your screen 
and you'll be updated when new videos are released.